Swati Tirunal himself, as I said, was a I mean, was an important composer. He was um, a, a linguist. He 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 composed in many languages, even Hindi, Marathi, and uh, many of his compositions are in Mani Pravadam. And he has composed many genres. He has composed varnams. He has composed kritis, of course, kirtanas, padams, and also some other forms like tilana, uh, even khayal, not northern forms. He has composed. So he is a very interesting, uh, obviously versatile musician. Um, the family deity of the Travancore court uh, is the Padmanabha Swami at uh, the, the Trivandrum is Lord Padmanabha. We have the Padmanabha Swami temple at Trivandrum and uh, that is the family temple of the uh, royalty and uh, Twati Tunar Swaditurnal's Ankita is Padmanabha in all of his compositions. It's Padmanabha or Sarasijanabha. Sarasi now, um, he composed, as I said, he composed Padams, and we are still to take a look at Padams as a compositional form. We will do so. We will now listen to a Padam in the Raga Dvijavanti. Oh, Dvijavanti is a raga from the north. It's an it's of, it's of northern import. Um, incidentally, Muthuswami Dikshudar has also composed a composition in Dujavanti. And uh, this padam that I'm talking about, padams are Shringara oriented. Their tone is romance, romantic. And in here the hero is Padmanabha. The composition starts with a Naika telling her Sakhi, her friend, Taruni. Taruni is a young woman. She is addressing her friend as a young, as Taruni. Nyan yendu cheyu. What should I do? It is as if my beloved has forgotten me. When shall I see his lotus like face again? And here his loved, love failed speech. I never thought that this would happen to me, that he would forget me. So we will listen to uh, a rendition of this Padam by Ramakrishnan Murthy. Now this, the Padam has been prefaced with what is called a Virutam. Virutam is something that is uh, the uh, is this part of Kalpana Sangeetam that is its improvised music. In this, a few verses are taken, and uh, they are elaborated in one or more ragas. Usually, it's as a, it's like a raga malika. So, a set of verses is taken, and uh, a few ragas are used to to bring out the the poetic content of those verses. Now, how the words are handled, how the the raga is uh, and the raga phrases are used to bring out the the mood and the feel of the words. That is where the art of Pritam uh, lies. It is a very challenging uh, aspect of Carnatic music, and it can be very powerful when done well. It can move the audience like little else can. And the viritam is usually prefixed to some composition. That And there is obviously there has to be some kind of connection between the viritam and the composition that is to follow. Here the viritam he is singing it, uh, Ramakrishna Murthy here has uh, performed a viritam in uh, Sanskrit, the verses are in Sanskrit on Lord Krishna and uh, the composition 
this Padam, where the heroine is pining for Lord Padmanabha. This composition is in Malayalam. So we will now listen to Taruninyan, Taruninyan Yendu Cheyu in the Raga Dvijavanti and Mishra Chaputalam, sung by Ramakrishnan Murthy. Yogindranam Padange Swadhika Sumadhuram Yogindranam Padange Swadhika Bhaktana Yogi Drana Twadange Swadhika Sumadhuram Twadange Swadhika Sumadhuram Yogi Padangeshwadhikasumadhuram Padangeshwadhikasumadhuram Adhikasumadhuram Adhika Sumadhuram Mukti Bhaja Vivaso Gindranam Padange Swadhika Sumadhuram Tibhaja Nivaso Mukti Bhaja Mivaso Mukti Bhaja Mivaso Mukti Bhaja Mivaso Mukti Bhaja Mivaso Padamulam, 
ತೂತರು ಕೇಸಲಯಂ ನಾಥ ಪಾದಮು
से वो हलता Whoa. 